Huckabee joins us now. Governor, welcome back to the program on a Monday morning. Um, I'm sure you can deal very quickly with what the Democrats are saying about the travel ban, but can you answer this question? What is the Democrat pro uh, program for dealing with terror? Their program is to resist everything Donald Trump says and does. It, I'd like to ask Susan Rice, if that travel ban was so completely useless, why did the Obama administration originally put something like that into place and identify the very countries that Donald Trump is trying to suggest we have extreme vetting? And, and to John Kerry, who says, well, you know, this is all about cultural uh, disadvantages. What does he suggest? Midnight basketball, macrame classes, maybe community bingo for some of the uh, Islamic radicals because they'll calm down and be nicer and, and want to be integrated into the community. Is he crazy? Does he not understand these are people who are religious fanatics who are killing people because they want to kill people, not because they're maladjusted. Good gosh, well, the San Bernardino killers had been given a baby shower by their co-workers that they later came in and gunned down. Well, in the, with, given that response from leading Democrats, do you think it possible that President Trump will pick up some political ground, that it will be to his advantage to go forward from here with his particular view of terror? Well, from sane people, yes, I do, Stuart, people who understand that uh, you, you don't take people who are religious fanatics and uh, zealots who want to kill other people because they're not of the same religion and, and somehow sit down with them at a table, play checkers, share a cup of tea, and everything's going to be okay. Most Americans understand that these were people who were... Uh, intent on killing totally innocent victims, whether on London Bridge or in Manchester or in Paris or anywhere else in the world, and you're not going to satisfy them uh, by giving them an ice cream cone uh, that's been dipped in chocolate and with sprinkles on top. This is not what this is about. Now, is the news of the day this Monday morning, is it about terror, the aftermath of London and Manchester, and maybe the switch towards a proactive response by Western democracies, or is it Comey's appearance this coming Thursday, Russia, 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 Jared Kushner? What is the news of the day, says Governor Huckabee? Depends on who you're watching. If you're watching uh, a, a respectable, truly objective uh, journalist, you're going to hear about the fact that uh, there is an aftermath and, and serious consequences in the uh, British elections. But if you're watching the people who want to avoid any semblance of the big story, you're going to hear Russia, Russia, Comey, Russia, Kushner, Russia, some more Russia, Hillary excuses, and God knows what. You are right, sir. You are right. And on this program, we've led with, as a financial program, we've led with the terror response, the change in the mood, and the response on Wall Street is no response at all. We're still at record levels. Governor Huckabee, we will see you again very soon, I'm sure. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.